carefree yogurt. Delicious. Yogurt has not a care in the world. No. I don't think I would either if I were yogurt. And I get the best, uh... Buff for, uh... Well, oh, you're chefs. going to Dairy Town. Cheese yogurt. Cheese. Dairy challenge here. Yeah. Better not be lactose intolerant. Delicious. Was hungry. Creamy, delicious. Creamy. Stamina and attack strength increased. Pretty much the best thing you can get. At least my. So, so you've got a big ass sword on your back. Yeah. I should say a long ass sword. Yeah, I'm using the long sword this time. Whoa, really? Yeah. Never would have guessed. Zephyroth is my bishy. <laughs> One moment while I'm finished having a brain aneurysm. Something. <laughs> This this quest is not very aptly named. No. Urgent. You're so retarded. I yes, mean. I know. I'm extremely retarded. I forgot yeah, to again. click the extra mile. <laughs> I'm gonna right. Yes, there's this quest thing that I should get. Yes, I I I mean I'd like to leave for the quest, but no, I have to pay the fee first. You should to keep save a counter. Lunch. Every time you do that, put a little nerd notch in the corner. Yeah. So Kezu is quite. I should say infamous. I mean, it's a pretty standard monster, mm -hmm. but Kezu is has been in since the original Monster Hunter, so everybody knows he it. And I do that again with the rations. Lightning uh, dong. I'm just so used to using two rations because I never get the dairy dairy combination. So it's like muscle memory. I was raised on the dairy bit. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Maybe if you just brought your own goddamn meat, it wouldn't matter. Uh, I actually do have uh, my own meat with me, like, 90% of the time. So whenever I do forget, it's because I accidentally placed it in my, uh, delivery... Not delivery box, my storage box. I hate the starting Kezu mission, because I'm really used to, uh, just grinding Kezu. And to grind Kezu, you simply go to one and you wait there as he flies to you. Oh, yeah. Well, but here, you gotta go out and seek him. Yeah. Yeah, he's have in the like dramatic a stupid places. He's like three, he's in three. I think. And then he likes to start by flying to six, then eight, then yeah. uh, he goes all around the place. Oh, oh. So, so this no is a really stupid monster. POV, because Kezu is a blind wyvern. Yeah, he is. He can't use flash. So having on. uh like a f uh, an eye cam is really dumb because Kezu has no eyes and cannot see. The nostril yeah. cam maybe. Ear cam. I guess, I guess they're sort of going for like a predator thing. Nose cam. So that's Kezu, and he's a jerk if that you're a mele Kezu. melee user. Kezu's Japanese name, just as a, a bit of trivia, the only trivia I know of monster names is Furfu, which is the Japanese onomatopoeia for shivering. <laughs> that, that is the only name I know of. So that, uh, this is his, sort of his gimmick. He either coats his body in lightning, meaning you can't attack him, or be near him, or he shoots paralyzing shots at you. He also screams. screams a lot. Yeah. And the screams can really bugs. screw you over because he will, uh, like, in, if he's enraged in rapid succession, he will scream and then he will basically murder you afterwards. He'll scream twice so as and a... then jump on you. Indeed. As a detail, since Kezu has no eyes, you do not get the, the yellow eye indicator that shows that he can see you. The, the limitations of the engine, however, means that you don't get music because of this. Yeah. So all you get are the sounds of Kezu sticking his dick up your ass. In a sense, I guess, considering that Kezu is sort of a horror monster, if you will, then it's kind of... It, 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 it kind of sets the right mood for no mu with no music at all. If you want to talk about Kezu in horror, Kezu propagates by injecting live youth into its prey, who then eat their way out of the body. Yeah, that's, uh, pretty nasty. There's one quest where you have to, uh, take live Kezu young from, yeah. what was it, a, uh, and that's what a molted shell of a monster yet. No, 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 don't talk about that. We'll talk about that when he hunts the actual monster. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm keeping it redacted. So, Longsword's gimmick is when you charge up the meter entirely. We've well, already explained this. Yeah, I have already explained. It. So I was gonna, <laughs> I was about to stop you there and say, no, I've, 
I don't remember to explain it. But the why I'm bringing the longsword is because I have the backwards sweep sort of attack where I can do a jump backwards and an attack, which is pretty handy for this fight. If Although you're if you're really slow, that. it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. Well, when Kezu and Rage is slow. That was the first so I don't know if, it, if it's like it in this game, but Kezu's outer hide on his back is extremely tough, and you will always bounce on it if you try to hit it without it, blue sharpness. It is extremely tough. I I hit it with a... If you The best example is if I hit his tail, yeah, his uh, most tail of the time is, uh, my attacks really will hard. bounce with green sharpness. Kezu has two breaks, which are literal breaks. You break his skin, his his back and stomach area sort of crack open, and then his neck can crack open. Yeah. Neck and face. And basically you will see it as... Uh, it, he'll be covered in sorts of pink scars. Can be a little hard to see sometimes. He'll have the nasty scars and he'll be all pulsating, veiny. Well, he's already... Uh, well, he does it naturally, veiny. actually. If you look really closely, you can see the blood flowing through its veins. It's just really cool. I like it. Yeah, yeah it gets more defined I like when Kezu. he's uh, enraged, I think? Or is it when he's near when he's enraged, Yes, it is. Yeah, when he's enraged, so he has uh, the most notable feature is he's, like, breathing blue ice out of his he breath. He steams from his, his mouth. Yeah, and he gets enraged when he's on low hit points and gets attacked, apparently. And that's really painful to fight him as you go later on in the fight. Another downside of him being blind and not having the eye is that if you haven't paintballed him and you don't know exactly where he's going, it can be really hard to find him again. Because he might be on the ceiling or flying or anywhere but where you're going. Mm -hmm. But I mean, in general, if you just know his uh, flight pattern, you should know where he is. Like, I know, for example, right now his flight pattern is 3, 6, doesn't land at 8 but flies by it, then 7, then eight, then six, then three, then one, and then he sort of kind of repeats that. Why did jog? There we go. His tail, green sharpness, people bounces off. Oh man, his the annoying thing about his tail is that it like stretches out ever so slightly as he swings it past you, mm -hmm. so it it extends a little bit further to try and get you. Yeah, but in general, his tail is not really that. I don't know, it barely ever hits you because it's so stubby and small compared to other monsters. Yeah, for, it's still really dangerous though. Yeah. Not as dangerous as most wyverns with large tails yeah. who do more damage to the tail swipe than any of their regular attacks. Yeah. And, and in general, I would, if people are just getting into this fight and don't know about this, I would highly suggest bring a boga or something. Because then you don't have to deal with this stupid electrical attacks. Yeah, they're basically then just make sure you never stand in front of them, of course. The, the lucky thing about the way this is arranged, though, is that Kezu always comes after Kutku in the, the lineup, and Kezu is weak to fire, which Kutku weapons usually have an ample supply of. Oh, nice. Yeah, Kutku's been you. hit by, like, every single one of those. Yeah, I know. And I'm happy that the cat's going for him. And as you see there, his uh, attack sort of spreads in a cone along the ground. Yeah, three, uh, so the lo farther you away from the shot. harder it will be to dodge. Well, more like the easier it will be to dodge, because you can just stand between the blasts. Well, that is that is true. Yeah, it is like three separate blasts that can spread out. It's at medium distance where it's really difficult to dodge, because it's at its widest, but you can't just squeeze between the shots. 